chilly this morning. We've had some frost. I think it's about 50 degrees out right now. I don't even think it's that warm. I think it's in the low 40s. Low 40s? Yeah, last night it got down to like 39. Oh yeah. yeah. We had frost on our chairs that we left out accidentally. Yep, darn it, bummer. But good morning guys from Silverton, Colorado. Last week's video was pretty epic, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that was an intense drive down the million dollar, uh, million highway. dollar highway. There's a couple of uh, pretty sketchy moments. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't know what we're talking about, I'll link it right there. That was last week's video. We went to Telluride. We went to Uray, if we're saying that right. Yeah, yeah. It was great. But today, we woke up with a small issue. Although we filled our propane before we left, we're running a little low. So I'm not sure if we have enough propane to last us for the next couple of days, but I'm gonna do some checking on Google Maps and iOverlander, see if we can find anything. And, and maybe I'll check with some of the people here at the RV park, but I need to do some looking on this because I need to make breakfast and use propane and our heater is still running, so. We're getting there. We're not, we're not perfect yet. Where's your egg? Oh, I stored those oh. on the counter. <laughs> Trying to warm up our tortillas in the sun. salt pepper i mean guys look at the view the view cooking view cook. view cooking like oh, am i the view you're the view <laughs> Little trick when you're at 9,000 feet, make sure all of your ingredients are at the bottom before you open something, because it sprays everywhere. I <laughs> learned that with the mustard yesterday. Yeah, it literally sprayed all over your hands yesterday. And it was like, just kept coming out. It's like, I don't know what to do with it. But it's a little hack. Okay, guys, who Here. uses ketchup? Who uses salsa? Who uses hot sauce? Here you go. Oop. Oh, yeah. Okay. Breakfast? Breakfast is served. Mm. 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 It's a breakfast taco. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Super good. Guys, it is time to give you a tour of the Silverton Lakes RV Park. I think I might have even promised this on last week's video. Sorry. We just never had time to do it, but we have time now. So we're gonna show you around. So that was the, the what do they even call this? Like the service center? This is, it's where you come, the welcome center. When you first get here, you stop by. Hopefully it's not too windy and you guys can hear me. And you check in and then they actually take you to your site and help you back up and get perfectly in it. And then there's laundry. Mm -hmm. I, she said there's quarters available, so I am not for sure how much it costs, but there's laundry. Looks awesome to me. Now we're walking to the bathrooms and we will show you how nice they are. I'm really impressed with the bathrooms here. They're super clean. First 
impressions. Here's your shower. It's like super nice. And I guess there's a heater. Yeah, it's electric heat. Electric heat. And here's where you have your toilet and sink. This is the bathroom here. There's four of them at this location. And then up by the welcome center, there was like four more. So you're good. So here at this RV park, they have several types of spots. They've got some uh, campsites where you can't run a generator at night. It's basically dry camping. They also have um, pull through sites for the bigger, you know, class A's and fifth wheels. And they also have back in sites, you know, for, you know, campers, trailers, and some of them are big enough for class A's and fifth wheels. They also have some cabins available. Uh, so they're kind of scattered on the, the Northeast side. So I think we paid like just over $60, like 62 bucks or something like that for this spot. Full hookups. Yeah. It's got 30 amp service, water, uh, waste, all that good stuff. So, and this is your view. Insight. Yeah. It is a pretty stunning view, especially today with it being clear blue skies. Oh man, beautiful out. Yeah, so here's our little spot. We're drying off things. <laughs> and I think it's chore time. It is chore time. We've been here a few days and... Yeah, we need to empty our gray tank, our black tank, basically spruce things up a little bit. And then... And then we're off to some adventures. Gotta get in my stance. Cause we're so tall. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to wash dishes. Because if I were to stand up, I'm like this. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> I need a dishes uh, seat right here. <laughs> Can I sit here and watch dishes? Oh! I think we just have discovered something. <laughs> oh, geez. I tell you guys, van life at its finest, and you know this is such an ugly angle. I'm gonna need some eye protection for this. <laughs> In case it Give splashes. A splash back. So, first things first, I'm gonna move our black or our gray water hose. I'm gonna empty the black tank. Need to make sure I'm uphill. Don't want it to splash on me. All right. No mess. That's done. Slide this wonderful thing back in there. Okay. Then we will put in our gray water. And then we'll let it rip. Problem is, is it's flowing uphill. So I'm gonna have to actually walk this off. <laughs> just sounds so gross. Okay, is that all we have to do for chores? I think so. We've already done the dishes. We've swept, well, we could sweep the van out. I just need to wash my hands. <laughs> that was gross. You need a lot of soap. I do need a lot of soap. So we are headed up to the Silverton Cemetery, which is right above the RV park. And we just have to cross this road. Okay, I got a good dad joke for you. You know why they put fences around cemeteries? Why? People are dying to get in. Oh, that's so dumb. You know how many people are dead in that cemetery? What? All of them. <laughs> oh, geez. The altitude, guys. It's no joke. Yeah, we're almost 9,400 feet on the altitude. We've been here a few days, so we're kind of getting used to it. But right now, we're walking straight uphill. And I'm breathing hard, like I'm out of shape. Well, oh my word. as you guys know, we like to hike. We love to hike. And uh, we do it quite a bit. We would consider ourselves fairly in shape. 
So from where we're at here, down to there, it's kicking our butt. Oh man. We're about halfway. We're gonna <laughs> catch our breath and head up the rest of the way. It's so beautiful. Cue the music, the sound of music. The sound of music. The hills are alive. I don't even know if that's the song. <laughs> that is the song. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the movie. So we start off nice and strong with your okay. fresh breath reset. About 30 seconds in, you're dying. Yep. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh no. What? I seriously thought that was it. I like kind of hustled to get up here. Do we go up that hill? Or do you go around? I don't know. I was gonna do a cool shot of us walking up the rest of the hill. But if I left the camera, I'd have to go back and get it. That's too much, too much. Oh, and Hillary's already celebrating. Here we go. Here's some history. Here's some history. Oh, look, it tells mm -hmm. you the altitude we're at. 9318. First recorded burial, 1875. A young girl who died of mountain fever. What's oh. mountain fever? I don't oh. know. Pneumonia. Oh, all right, let's go look. So when we were down at the visitor center, they told us that some of the graves are marked with how the people died. And mm -hmm. some of them, I guess, are kind of interesting. Huh. Inflammation of the bowels and blood poisoning. That's so sad. That's how he died. All right. We took a little stroll through the cemetery, paid our respects, and now we're headed into town. Which town will be right there. I will say the cemetery has the best view. It does. Yes. Another cool thing about the RV park is they will bring you downtown. So we just walked in the little uh, center and asked them for a ride and- Drove us right down here. Yeah, they hopped in a golf cart, we hopped in a golf cart and now we're in downtown. Yep. How cool. But the train is here right now. So there's a ton of people. And he told us that uh, the restaurants are gonna fill up right now because the train comes from Durango to Silverton back to Durango, but they're in Silverton for two hours. So we're gonna wait to have lunch for two hours. Yeah. And actually, so this side of town, oh. this was like the- uh, Oh, what side are we on? This is on like the, the <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right word here. This is where all these saloons and brothels and all of the, the bad behavior was on this side. Yeah, because that's the fun fact, uh, yeah. fun fact about Silverton is there was two sides. Right. So we'll go over to the other side, which is, I, I call it Main Street, but it's actually Green Street. So on that main drive, that's where like, the church going folk lived. Yep, that's where like they said the religious <laughs> church people lived and then over here was the saloon type of people. But there was two sides to this town. That's nope. kind of cool. Okay. We're glutton for punishment. So if walking up the side of one mountain to the cemetery wasn't enough, now we've decided to come to Christ of the Mines here in Silverton. It overlooks downtown. Hopefully you can see the view behind us. And way, way up here-ish somewhere. That's where we're going. We just have to go uphill another, I don't know, a couple hundred feet. All right. We'll see you I when we get up yeah, there. I don't think I can record this. It's gonna take too long. Well, we have to go from here, up that path, up to there.
Well, cool. There's this little no signing box. No, people bring stuff up here. This is what people bring prayers. Oh, that's so cool. And there's pens. Oh, look. You, oh, you can write in it. Oh, we'll totally write in it. Here at Three Pits again, ready for some amazing barbecue. And I am so hungry. All right, food has arrived. We ordered the pulled pork, coleslaw, baked beans, cornbread, and onion rings to try. This is just a starter. Let me see. That is some good pulled pork. Mm. So good. We are so tired. We're back at the van. We're just relaxing, just gonna enjoy it and relax and watch um, my nature TV, which is that view right there. It doesn't get better than that. Oh, this is what you've been up to. It's cold, it's so windy. I think our um, awning is struggling a bit. What are you up to? Um, I'm just gonna make some brownies. Yes, please. Gonna cheat a little bit. Use a brownie mix. Oh, wait, what's going on? Why are you sad? Because I always burn things in this, so I try to be a little more conservative. And they're not done. No! So we have two choices. I can make the rest of it in a new one, and we could just eat this. Sounds good. Okay, that's really not done, Bob. I know, but we're gonna try it and see if it's any good. Okay. Oh, hot. Mm. You like it? We need some ice cream. What do you think this is? <laughs> like I'm a short order cook and just make whatever you want? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna enjoy some brownie goop. It's chocolatey. It's got walnuts. Love it. And it's sweet. I'm in. Brownie goop by Bob. Bob's brownie goop. If you want the recipe, just let us know in the no, comments. You don't. <laughs> I am a fan of Bob's brownie goop. It's very good. Mm. The trick is just eat the edges. This is where Bob and I have been making a dent in it. If you eat the edges, the edges are actually done. It's the middle that wasn't done. But. Mm. Fine by me. I look like I got some sun today. We have been relaxing. Really, we just actually came in the van. We've been sitting outside for the last, like, what, three hours? Just sitting yeah. and chilling. I think, Bob, you got some sun today, too. I did. My arms are burnt. But I know the last time you saw us, we were eating brownies, and it feels like, you know, all we do is eat today. But it's already time to cook dinner. And I think what's on the menu for tonight is grilled chicken, baked potatoes, and a garden salad. Grilled chicken, baked potato, beans, and a, and a salad. That's all. That feels like a lot of food. Because, you know, we haven't been eating at all. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Start by flipping our potatoes. 
And what is that? That's sort of like the extra piece from the ginormous chicken breast. They look so yellow. That is the seasoning. It's the uh, caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. Dinner is ready. Before the actual heck. We're over here because this table's in the shade. This isn't technically our picnic table, but the sun is still really harsh, even though it's cold in the shade. I don't know. Go figure. Dinner is served. Mr. Bob is an amazing cook. Thank you for all your hard work. I'm excited. This looks amazing. I'm going to turn you guys off, but before we do, dink it. Shake that. Wow. That's good. Wow. That's amazing. Dinner? Mmm. Success. That was, I actually am proud of myself. I'm, a, I, I I'm proud like of you I did too. a good job. You did a great job. 10 out of 10 for me. Yep. Actually 11 out of 10 because so. the one extra is because I don't have to cook. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But now time to take out the garbage and then we're going to go take a little hike down to the river. Yeah. We haven't done this yet. We've seen other people do it. So we're going to try and figure out how to do it because there's no like easy access that we've seen. I haven't seen it, but it's got to be down there somewhere. We'll see you there, though. Like a gazelle. Mm -hmm. Ugh. We're, oh, we came to a dead end. We need to cross right over there. Like right here. Okay. Oh. That was not a trail. Okay, now what? Uh, are you there, Hillary? I don't know. Where the actual heck are you taking us? This is an adventure. None of this is poisonous. Um, is it this way or that way? It's this way. Oh. Um. We're right back where we were. We're almost out. Look, it opens up right here. None of these roads or paths led to that little river. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. I was fine trudging through the mud, trying to find it, because <laughs> it got kind of muddy back there. Well, guys, we failed. Epic fail. We could not figure out a path down to the little stream that all put over us right here. You can see it right here. <laughs> Earlier today, we saw people sitting there in their lawn chairs in the river with their feet soaking. I did it, not see that. I did on the on the drone when we were flying it. It looked amazing and super fun. But we tried to find it, but we would have had to walk through someone's campsite. Which and can't be bad. That's just rude. Yeah. So we tried to walk around. Couldn't do it. Couldn't find the spot. So guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. Yes. I think we're saying bye, but we still have one issue. We never did get any propane today. We're low on propane, so hopefully we make it through the night and we'll stay warm. If not? If not, I guess we'll just have to snuggle. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming along this day. Hopefully you've enjoyed the Colorado series. It's been fun for us to make yeah. and, if, and do and kind of take Mr. Lemon out. And what, what score are we going to give Mr. Lemon for Colorado? Ooh. Well, we started off with a big zero. Oh, that's true. So, but, but he's redeemed himself. He's redeemed himself. And doing much better these last few days. I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 right now. 
He did yeah. nothing wrong on this trip. That is true. Okay. That is very true. Hopefully it continues. Only time will tell. Subscribe if you guys want to know more about Mr. Lemon and his adventures. All right. But I think that's it. We're back at the van. Until next time. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.